Hi everyone, this is Top 3D Shop, and in this video, we will tell you about the original Prusa Mini Plus FDM 3D printer. The Plus modification is an upgrade of the Mini 3D printer model manufactured by Prusa Research. The key change in the new version of the device is the calibration system, based on the Super Pinda sensor. The 3D printer comes in one of two options for shipping, semi-assembled and as a DIY self-assembly kit. In addition, users of the base Mini model can upgrade their machine by purchasing the sensors separately. The Prusa Mini Plus is an open-source personal desktop 3D printer. The build volume is a cube with an edge of 18 cm. Designed to boast a relatively large build volume with minimum dimensions, the device is also characterized by an affordable price. The maximum heating temperature of the Bowden extruder is 280 degrees Celsius, and the layer thickness during printing can vary from 50 to 250 microns. The printer comes with a stock nozzle 4 tenths of a millimeter in diameter. The maximum heating temperature of the print bed is 100 degrees. Prusa offers two types of flexible bed covers, each geared for a certain application. As was already mentioned, the updated version of the printer is equipped with a Super Pinda sensor, that registers the thermal deformation of the printing platform surface. Automatic calibration is launched before each print, guaranteeing the perfect first layer. The Prusa Mini Plus features a custom 32-bit motherboard with quiet Trinamic 2209 drivers and a color LCD screen. A wireless connection module is offered as an add-on. The printer supports one-click printing mode. The user just needs to insert the storage device with a file ready for printing into the USB port and confirm the selection by pressing the control knob. Files are rendered using the proprietary multi-platform Prusa Slicer software, offering a wide range of tools for working with three-dimensional models. This is Top 3D Shop with the original Prusa Mini Plus FDM 3D printer overview. Subscribe to our channel, leave your comments below, and hit the like button if you've enjoyed the video. See you soon!